Hi, welcome back to another episode of Casey trying to prevent her voice from cracking. Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Casey. Today, <laughs> as you can tell from the title, today's video is going to be a curly hair routine. So if you don't know, this is my natural hair. It is curly, wavy, don't know what you want to call it. But lately, I've been wearing it natural. And I have a lot of hair, a lot of volume behind it. And I've always had a really big struggle with keeping it not too frizzy and um, kind of like having nice curls, shiny, the whole thing. And lately, for the past couple weeks, I've been using certain products and doing certain things that I've been noticing a really big difference in this short amount of time. And I'm also gonna be telling you guys how to achieve curls without heat if you do not naturally have curly hair. There's a non-heat method if you would like and it's super easy and you don't really have to do any effort, you pretty much just go to bed. So there's a lot to talk about. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Like I said, it's only been a couple weeks that I've been implementing these new things um, for my hair care. Um, but I really think that these products have been making a really big difference. So I am gonna mention those first. I was watching this girl's hair care routine and she has curly hair. Um, but she has a lot thinner hair than I do, so I decided to actually do a little bit of digging and I wanted to try out the products she was using first because they were more readily available. Um, and I actually do really like them, but I think I'm going to be tweaking it a little bit. But first let me show you what they are. So, um, I've been using the, the OGX Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil Shampoo. So far this has been working really good. It doesn't flatten my curls or do anything really bad to it, I find. And I really like the smell of the coconut. I was implementing two different conditioners because I saw that she liked to layer her conditioner. So I'm using the same one, the OGX coconut oil one. Do this first and then I'll layer on top the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Conditioner. Um, but so far this is really good. So I'll layer it first with this and then I'll put this on top. But before I put the conditioners, I actually bought a wet brush from Amazon and obviously brushing your hair when wet is damaging to your hair. It's gonna cause split ends. But this brush, what's so special about it, you're able to use this while your hair is wet and it's very, very gentle and you're able to detangle it. And I found that as I was doing that in the shower before I put the conditioner, it made the conditioner go on evenly and I was actually using less because it wasn't so tangled, but only by the ones that are meant for your hair to be wet because obviously you don't want to damage your hair. So, by the way, none of it, this video is not sponsored at all. These are just products I recommend and some of this you can get on Amazon anyway. So, but anyway, so I've been using this and then like I said, I'll go in with um, the conditioner. One thing I will mention, like I said, that I'm gonna be changing up, depending on how much I'm gonna like this um, within, I wanna say the next month or when I finish this, I might be switching to my OG one. So my OG hair conditioner that saved my hair and it's my trend true, I've used it for years, is the macadamia hair mask that I actually use as a conditioner in the shower. So depending on how this goes, I might swap it out and then use that and then compare results. But right now this has been working good, but just food for thought in the future. I also love that conditioner, I swear by that. Then once I come out of the shower, uh, my hair is obviously damp. I actually don't use a towel. I'll just kind of wring the water out gently and then I'll just leave it. Um, but I won't let it air dry too long now, like without putting something in it because I notice my hair gets a little frizzy. So after kind of like putting on my body lotion, everything, taking care of all that, um, I will go in and I will spray my hair with the Marc Anthony 100% Coconut Oil and Shea Butter Dry Styling Oil, just for like frizz and shine and I like the smell. So I'll just spray my whole hair with that and I'll just kind of like zhuzh it a bit. Um, and then to get the shape of my curls, back my tried and true oil this moroccan oil treatment this i've tried so many oils nothing compares to it and i've again i only bought this two weeks ago i took a break for about a year without using this and i could see the big difference on my split ends and my overall hair this can be pricey but this does last me i want to say half a year depending on how much i use it but even when i used it every day before when i was growing out my hair this lasted up to half a year. So this is my favorite. Um, between the light version and the regular, I just use the regular because again, um, I have thicker hair. So I just kind of stick with the normal one, but I've used both, so there's no preference. So I'll use this towards the end. And what I'll do is I'll put uh, a pump or two in my hands and I'll just kind of go like this. And then I'll just kind of scrunch. On the days in between when I don't use that oil, I've been using the Coconut Milk by OGX as well. It's a nourishing anti-breaking serum. So just in between days, I'll use this again, one pump or two, and I'll just kind of towards the ends to like my ears down, use that as well so that it's being taken care of throughout the week. My hair doesn't get too greasy throughout the week. It takes quite a few days for it to start getting greasy. Um, but to make sure that I'm not showering like crazy because that dries out your hair a lot, 
Um, I'll use any of the Batiste Dry Shampoo sprays. I'll just put that towards my roots and rub it. Oh, and yes, for my shampoo, only do it for your roots. The rest of your hair is not oily. There's really no point of putting shampoo for the rest of your hair. Just your scalp, because when you rinse it off, it's gonna clean it anyway. I was sent these vitamins, so they are the Heartbreaker Gummies. Um, and it's for a hair, skin, and nail vitamin complex. So it has biotin, uh, folic acid, vitamin A, and it has soy-free, cruelty-free, gluten-free. So these are pretty much um, hair, skin, and nail vitamins. I use the whole thing up, and I wanted to see the difference it's been doing in my hair. So I think combined with this, I was obviously seeing really good results combined with the products I was using. But overall, I'd say that when I've, I've taken stuff like this before, it works the best first I see on my nails. My nails get really strong. Um, and they grow really fast, which that's the first signs. Like my skin becomes a little bit more glowy, um, a little bit more even, and I'm not breaking out as much. And then my hair, I see that it's just not as much split ends. Like there's not as much um, management I have to do. But sometimes this works for people. Out of everybody I've spoken to, maybe once in my life, out of so many people, they're allergic to biotin. But if you do want to help boost your hair, um, give it a try. You can pretty much find it anywhere. But these ones I have been liking because I noticed that this one also has folic acid, which is really good for you, and the vitamin A. So the other ones that I tried were just straight biotin, and the pluses, I really like the taste of these. So again, this is not sponsored. They sent this to me to give an honest review. So I did see a lot, again, like I said, for me, these affect my nails first, and then I kind of see a little bit of change in my skin and my hair. Um, but again, try them out if you want to try. Um, check them out. I'm still working on my curls, but it's not as frizzy as it used to be. Like, it's a little bit more manageable at least. Um, I notice not as much split ends. There's shine in my hair naturally now, which it's like, now if you want some curly hair, but you don't want to style it. So what you have to do is when your hair is wet, you put all your products in, your oils, whatever you'd like to put. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take your hair and do them by sections. So depending on how thick you want the curls, you want more hair, obviously. If you want thinner kind of curls, you take less hair. So what you're going to do is pretty much while your hair is damp, um, if you want kind of like nice sleek curls, uh, with the wet brush you can brush your hair out so it's a little bit more straight. I don't because I want it to be curly, that's why we scrunched it and did all that. Um, pretty much what you do is you just take your hair and you make French braids and tie them before you go to bed. Um, and make sure they are tight braids, not like so tight that it hurts your scalp, but tight enough that they're not going to come unraveled when you sleep. And so what you do while it's wet, do that, do it for your whole head. Um, and then yeah, you go to bed. And then when you wake up, all you do is take them out and then you kind of open them up and separate them. And there you go, you have natural curls. You don't have to do any styling to them. And then on, now that they've kind of dried that way, again, you could just add whatever oil to the ends or just a little bit of shine spray, heat spray, first spray, whatever you like to use on top and that's gonna seal the deal for you and you didn't have to do any effort, pretty much you just went to bed. So that's a trick I also do um, if I feel like there's not like a significant um, amount of even curls throughout my hair, I tend to do that as well. So that was my curly hair routine. This is what it is as of now. Um, it might change in the future, I don't know, but this is just currently what I am using for my curly hair. I'm gonna see how long I can go with my natural hair. Um, just to see if I do see change, because so far for two weeks I have not straightened it at all. Um, and I noticed that again, it's less frizzy. Um, I've been consistent with the products. Um, I haven't had to flat iron them, so they've been staying in the shape and they've actually been curling better. Um, and, so, and that's also just less work for me. As much as I love straight hair, it does take me 45 minutes to an hour to do, and it is damaging, so. Um, but anyway, so, so far this is what the results have been in like only two weeks, and the Vitamins I did take for a month before I started implementing the new products and I still saw some results. I will put all the products that I do use down below as well for you guys to check out. So that was my current curly hair routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the videos that I do post. And I will say before I go, um, I might be doing a self-care series. So it's going to be everything from like my favorite skincare products, what I do on a daily basis, to like take care of myself, mental health, all that stuff. Um, so I might be doing a little series of that very soon. I'm gonna be splitting them up into different videos and I'm gonna make a whole playlist on it. But yeah, so kind of stay tuned for that. Um, but anyways, once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys love the video and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.